guys, welcome back to Metaspode in another episode in a mosh potato series. Now, I don't want to wear my mask and we're in four weeks of lockdown here in Sydney, Australia. So I'm just going to stay home. I'm going to cook a hell of the recipes. And then just get all fat and sassy. I hope that everybody is well and awesome. It's so good to have you back. Thanks for tuning back in. I know there is a lot of YouTube out there that you could be spending your time with. And I'm very lucky to have you. It's been a pretty sad week in hard rock and heavy metal with the passing of Dusty from ZZ Top at 72 years old and Joey Jordison from Slipknot at only 46 years of age. Joey was my favourite member of Slipknot until he left. You know, I used to draw his mask all over my school books and he used to be the one that I'd recreate when we all listen to Slipknot and dance around at you know, our parents' house at that time. I was very lucky to have been able to see him and we're raising our drink to both Dusty and Joey this weekend and I'm going to play both of your music so bad. Today's recipe is by Philadelphia based musician Liam Wilson and it's called Kale em All. In the notes of this recipe he actually tells you to listen to the Metallica classic Kill em All. So do what you thought. <laughs> Liam's been in a bunch of bands but currently he's in John Frum Azusa, and you probably know him best as the bass player of Dillinger Escape Plan. Dillinger have got to be one of the most energetic live bands that have ever been in our scene. They are just madness. If you've ever been lucky enough to catch them before they broke up in 2017, ooh, you witnessed something incredible. And if you want to be just like Liam and maybe learn some of his bass tricks from Dillinger, you can go to Sheet Happens and download the bass transcripts for his music. And while we're on the subject of his bass, I watched a really awesome interview with him and Gear Gods. Now Gear Gods sit down with musicians and they go through their live or their recording setup. And in this interview, they sat down with Liam and went through his live setup. As I mentioned, Dillinger, crazy energetic band and the energy that the band gave, the crowd gave back as well. So you know what, sometimes I'd say that the crowd were actually giving more energy. I don't think it's true in Dillinger's case. I think Dillinger were setting the standard and the crowd had to step up. And because of this, Liam had to make some modifications to his bass guitar to make sure nothing was knocked out and never missed a note. This included leaving only his master volume dial at the front of his bass guitar putting the bass and treble on the back of the guitar. He even has a lock for his jack so it doesn't get knocked out and a huge cutout at the base of his bass. <laughs> because of the sheer veracity of him on stage, he used to leave marks all on his legs. So he had that cutout put there just to protect him a little bit. <laughs> Liam was a vegan advocate and a yoga teacher, not even to mention that he went to school for woodworking before leaving that behind to run around the world, quite literally sometimes, with Dillinger Escape Plan. Leah Wilson himself was kind enough to be a part of this video, so keep your eyes peeled about halfway through the recipe walkthrough to see a very familiar face. It's been a while since I've put this on, so let's get into Kale Mall by Liam Wilson of Azusa, John Frum, and Dillinger Escape Plan. I need my drink. Cheers, I hope you enjoy it. Let's rock and roll. What's up? This is Liam from the Dillinger Escape Plan, thanking you for checking out my Kale em All recipe. Eat to live, don't live to eat.
that's how easy it is to prepare kale mole by Liam Wilson. A massive thank you goes out again to Liam. Thank you for being part of this. Your, your kindness and your openness to be in this even just for a little moment really made this video so much more than I could have done simply on my own. I hope you and your family are keeping safe over there in America. Next week's recipe is going to be the heavy stew by Ash Pearson of three inches of blood and revocation. This one's going to be a bit of a learning curve. It's quite an in-depth recipe and it also calls for dumplings on the top. We don't actually do that here with our stews. I'm also going to be announcing a competition because I'm getting really close to that 500 subscribers and I want to kind of sweeten the deal for whoever's going to help me get there. Now I'm not going to ruin any surprises but there will be merch and there will be things maybe from Jack Daniels and some Australian heavy metal hotspots. Not COVID hotspots. I hope you join me next time for the heavy stew. Until then, remember to mask up, drink up, and I'll see you on the other side.